Hi, my name is Ashraf. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the Xilinx Integrated Software Environment software. Before you proceed with this video, make sure you already have the Xilinx ISE software, which you can download from the Xilinx website. To start, click on the Xilinx ISE Design Suite and wait until the software pop up. Turn off the tip of the day window by click OK. After that, to create a new project, go to File and choose New Project. Let's say I want to create a project for the encoder. I can give appropriate name, which is an encoder, and at the description, I can write any information that may be useful for me in the future to recall back what I have done. And I must make sure the top level source type on the HDL, then you can click next. Okay. Yes. Okay, at the project setting, you must choose the family device package according to the board that you, we have. In our microcomputer lab, we only have a Spartan 3E board. As you can see from this picture, this is Spartan 3E board. Okay, the device and the package number you can from from here on the chipset. Okay, you must choose Spartan 3E board and you must choose the device name XC3S500E and the package FG320 and make sure the synthesize tool on the XST and the simulator on the IC. In our lab, we also have another type of simulator which provided by the third party which is model sim very long. It is advisable to use the iSIM simulator and make sure the perfect preferred language is on the very long and you can click next you have successfully created a new project this is the project summary as you can see and this is the device and package name as assigned before you can click finish as we can see here on this window this is the package name and also the device name that we have chosen before but notice that we haven't assigned any file yet to the device so to assign a new file you must right hand click on the device and choose new source and click on the very log module and give appropriate file name let's say i want to write coding for the encoder i can give the name for the file encoder and click on the next for the port name direction i can leave now as I can assign later on the file as you can see here we already create a template for the very log module and you can start to write your encoder here encoder very log code here and let's say I already have the code Okay, this is the coding for the 4 to 2 encoder as you can see from here and I'm on, I must make sure the module name is same with the file name and now I must save this file now by clicking on the file I should check whether there are any error on the coding if there are any code, any error or warning, it will show you. Since we don't have any error on the coding, it shows process behavior check syntax complete successfully. Now, to test my coding, I must assign input. To do so, I must add another file, which is we call test bench file. Go to source, go to the package, and add and create a new source where we call it very log test features. I should give a name test bench file. And click next and click next and finish
as you can see the test bench file will automatically will be the top module and also we already have the template for the test bench file and let's say I want to use my own coding which I have written before and as and I must make sure the module name is same with the test bench file here and also the encoder that I have instantly is same with the very log file encoder encoder test bench test bench okay now as I should save this file and now by clicking on the test bench file I can click on the simulate behavior model As you can see, the timing diagram show the output with corresponding input. And you can minimize that by clicking zoom out. And you can verify your test from here. That's it for and thank you so much to watch this video.